guys, Gaming Lord here, and today I'm doing another video. Today I'm doing Texture Pack Review Part 3. So, I am doing a Texture Pack Review on the John Smith Texture Pack. Um, here it is. Um, so yeah, anyway. Oh my god, the chests are so annoying. Um, so yeah, anyway. God damn it! Right, okay, yeah. I'll stop raging. So, <laughs> Um, this is an amazing text pack. I think the Yorks cast used it for a couple of adventure maps. Um, there is a glitch where if you have shaders, um, it can actually make so, like, each letter's cut in half, so you can't really read what it is. Um, so yeah, that's a glitch with it. Um, which can be a problem if you like using shaders of, as a regular thing. I personally don't, because it just lags me out so much. So yeah. Oh my god, this te Sorry, right, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start off by showing you all in the chests, as always. So, uh, pause the video if you want to see anything in detail in these chests. So yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> this isn't much as much as a HD text track as my previous one, which was Fax. But I'm sure there's like more HD versions of this. Uh, this is supposed to be goddamn dirt. Keeps on changing, goddamn it. Um, <laughs> so let's put that there. There we go. Actually, no, I got an idea. Actually, hold on. <laughs> this is this is this is some. Right, okay. Uh, get this. Right, okay. Then dirt. Haha! -ha! The ultimate invention. So, uh, actually I'm going to delete them because I'm going to walk back across them and get really annoyed. So yeah, anyway. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to show you the menu. So these are the, what the menus look like. If you go into here, it looks nice and all that. Um, the Minecraft sign doesn't avoid double negative. Right up here. It's all in HD. Um, so yeah, let's get back into the text pack review world. Sorry about that. So yeah, these are the woods, obviously. Then the ores. I think the gold looks pretty nice. Um... And I like the way the um, lapis is, looks like a brick. Um, but yeah, the sheep look pretty creepy. Go away. Um, <laughs> anyway, these are like bookshelves, and the, everything looks a bit very nice. And diamonds uh, look very rewarding with the yeah, see a little animation. Um, a little bit like the Sfax one, apart from sorry, I'll move my mic a little bit closer. Um, apart from it might not be as memory hungry. Uh, and this glistens, so if you're going across some ice, you might lag a bit. Um, Nether Quartz actually looks surprisingly cool. Um, and then this glows, and then, yeah. And then uh, the things that mushrooms grow on. Uh, I can't remember what this is. <laughs> Something. <laughs> um, then emeralds, obviously. And then Nether Quartz. Yeah, the quads, quads, yeah, quads. Um, then this is what the jungle trees look like, and I think they look pretty awesome. That's what goes up on the top of the jungle trees. Um, but it can, you can like mistake them for the vines, as I just did. Um, uh, so we got cobwebs and stuff. We got chest, crafting bench, furnace, and all this good stuff. And then we got this, and then we got another one of them things. Oh no, these are note blocks, aren't they? There we go, I remember. Um, we got this, I'm just gonna set time slash time set day. Uh, then we have all this and this and this. And then we have some vines and some uh, circular lily pads. Um, chanting tables look pretty cool and so do um, these uh, things. I forgot what they're called. I can't remember anything. Uh, then these are the anvils, then, um, what's actually underneath here? Oh. Oh, is that just, oh, whatever. Right, um, so these are different type of types of carpets. These are what the paintings can look like, so I don't know if that's a glitch. I think that's just supposed to be a dangling rope. Uh, then, as you can see here, um, you know, these paintings are pretty cool. Uh... Then there's like dungeon cells, so if you want to make like a cast map, you can just carry on placing a painting until it gets right. Got a sign here, got a bed, 
got a little thing. Got some more things over here. We've got the dispenser. Oh my god! Oh, oh. Down. I can't spell down for. There we go. Alright, uh, then we got some pistons, and then TNT, which is creeper face, because, you know, why not? And then redstone torches and a lever that I shouldn't pull. Um, so that's TNT, and uh, then we've got here a button, then. I don't know. A, a, a door that goes on the floor. <laughs> And then uh redstone torch, uh lantern off, lantern on, all these redstone block, I think that glistens. Oh, I was mistaken. God damn it. Um redstone, redstone repeater, those are the doors, and then some rails, rail cart, uh pig, which um have these I think I think they only have them if they have the saddle on. And uh yeah, actually we can just test that now, actually. Pig, so pig spawner. Um, so yeah, that's what the saddle looks like. Also, yeah, I think it's only when they have the saddle on. Uh, so I'm just gonna get a sword and kill them because I hate pigs in this game. I'm joking. They're beautiful. Every pig has rights. <laughs> right. Okay. There we go. Let's chuck their remains into here. There we go. I'll just collect that um XP orb. And I'll chuck uh, the sword in there. Wait, does this have an animation? No. Okay. Um, but the water does, and the boats look pretty goddamn awesome. This is like a survival island text pack. That's what I always imagine it as. So here's that, and then the fishing hook, and then the um, nether reactor. Then all the things that you saw in chests, apart from there, in item frames. So you can pause if you want to see what they are, like, close up. Um, they all look pretty nasty. Um... So yeah, anyway. That was a John Smith text pack review. Um so yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do daily Minecraft videos. Um also, um if you would like me to continue the series, um please uh tell me in the comments and also subscribe, and I already said that. Um and yeah, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.